Thank you for joining us. Um, today I lost to Great Britain. So, how was it for you the whole day? You had two wins and you had to win this tie and unfortunately you lost it. So how do you summarize this tie and all the, all the week? I think it was a good match, you know, they're a tough team, we had nothing to lose, they had the higher ranked players, obviously we played well in the last couple of days, um, we didn't lose a match, uh, but today I think uh, Greta and me, we didn't play our best tennis, but uh, the opponent I guess did, so, you know, that's tennis, they deserve to win, so I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with this week's performance for sure. And uh, how did you feel about your match today against uh, Heather Watson? Uh, for me, Heather is a tough opponent to play. Um, we always um, play it, uh, in juniors too, but um, I think, um, as I said, she's, she's a tougher for me. I mean, um, we always have some kind of players which you don't like to play against, so she's one of those. And, um, but uh, she did a good job, so she deserves to win. Um, the next time, I'll, I'll do better too. You had an injury? Yeah, in the second set, unfortunately, I broke, um, like, I don't know what happened on my feet, but uh, I still cannot really walk, which is good, but, um, you know, I, I tried to play the whole match, of course, um, so, um, I, I mean, the first set and the beginning of the second, nothing was going on, so um, it's not... Uh, uh, it's not the reason why I lost it, just the second set was a bit tougher. Thank you very much. I want to ask you about your, game, your match uh, against uh, the Brito in day one. Three tough sets, a lot of momentum shifting. Um, how was it for you? Yeah, I mean, she beat Heather, so, and I beat her, so, you know, it's, um, it's a funny round. But, um, yeah, that match was unbelievable. I lost the first set, I fought back. It was a lot of uh, fighting, a lot of running. Next day, yesterday, against uh, Bosnia, I, I was barely, you know, walking. I, I was, it was so tough to, to move, and uh, everything was, was so tight, and... Uh, but it was a really enjoyable match. I love to play these long matches. I always enjoyed it, so always enjoying it. So it was, it was good. I, I liked it a lot. But you didn't like the officiating. You had a lot of argument with the chair umpire, and you asked to replace one of the. Yes, because um, we, they, if they make some mistakes, and it's always the same person who's making the mistake, then maybe he's having a bad day, so there is no point to keep him on, on court. Did you have. Problems with your officiating only in this match, or no? I mean, um, I think a lot of players are having a little bit of problems, uh, but uh, you know, I guess it's not easy to, to see the ball, but uh, that's their job to do. So, I mean, as I said, if someone's having a bit bad day, why should I be the one, you know, having having the bad decisions? So, I think it's better to change them. Uh, what do you think about the whole format singles uh, for both players then often you have to play both singles and doubles straight after? Yeah, usually I, I always play the doubles. Um, uh, I, I love to play in a team. Um, in juniors I also played for, for the, the European Championship and uh, we played World Cup as well. We won a lot of European Championship with, uh, with my best friend actually and I played always the number one singles and then we played doubles. So. Um, I really like to play in a team because you know it's a really um, selfish sport. You know, everything everyone is traveling alone, or you know, and it's good to have have a little bit of teamwork here. And uh, I like the team. My coach is the, the captain, so I mean, it's I mean, my physio is the physio, so it's it's all working out for me. So you didn't even want to rest after winning uh, the singles yesterday. No, I mean, um, we were hoping to, to get one singles today. I was hoping to win today and then the deciding doubles would have been me and uh, Kata. But uh, because I lost today, then it's, of course, uh, we gave the opportunity for Reka. But uh, yeah, it was a good, good, good match yesterday for, for the doubles and I had a shorter singles, so it was happy. It was happy to play. What about yesterday? You chose to play doubles yesterday, although you had to play today against Great Britain. Yeah, that's what she just asked, and uh, I was happy to play. I mean, uh, it was a shorter singles, I wanted to play more, so it was good. Um, a bit about outside Fed Cup. You started 2012, 
with some good results, some semi-final in Bogota, and then first w WTA title in Monterrey. So, but then the rest of 2012, it was not so good for you, and also the start of 2013. So, what happened there, and what needs to be done in order for you to get your good results again? Well, yes, last year was um, difficult because I started the year with the ranking 150, and then in two weeks with Bogota and Monterey, I got to 65, and then everything changed. I had to play the big tournaments, I had to play the biggest players, so it was, I guess, a little bit too fast. But then I had a good season for um, in, on grass, um, and then the, the upcoming tournaments of, of the US Open, I did some good results, and on the Grand Slams, I'm still not uh, playing my best tennis, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be back on track. I had a long injury in the end of the year, so I was out for almost four months. I didn't play, so you know, I'm trying to, to get back and uh, just to try to play a lot of matches, so that's why it's good to play here as well. You played at the WTT with the um, Israeli tennis player Amir Weintraub. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, he wrote about this experience. It involves personal, uh, personal uh, jet planes and uh, it's, he, he described it as a wonderful experience, the one he would love to do again. How was it for you and why did you choose to play? I only played uh, 12 days, so not the whole season, because I went to the Olympics. So I think it was better to play shorter because the three weeks is unbelievable long and really tiring because one day you play in Philadelphia, then you go the other end and back to New York and you're just traveling basically all day and play a match, then travel. I lost so much kilos and everyone was, uh, you know, really tired. So it's not that easy besides that it's unbelievable to play against the big players and be there and having the private jet and, the, and everything, but uh, it's, not, it's not fun at all. I mean, uh, it's really tough and um, I really loved it though, so I, I'm, I'm hoping to get to go back as well, but um, it's, not, uh, it's not as easy as it looks like, I think. Yeah, but if it's, so, if it's so tiring and you lost so much weight and so on, so why, why did you choose to do it in the first place? This was my first time, I didn't know, and I still really like this, so no question about it that I want to go back, it's uh, good fun. But I'm just saying that it's not, not easy, it's not holiday, that it's a hard practice and hard work for sure. Amir uh, Weintraub wrote that um, many, many uh, tennis players are now, they prefer to go to play in European leagues or in uh, American leagues instead of the tours because they don't make enough money and they have to chase after points. Do you share his point of view? Do you yeah, 100%. I mean, I'm from Hungary. I'm not from, you know, a rich country. So, of course, I have to um, earn money to even to, you know, go to tournaments. So that's why I play also the French League, German League. I go to work in tennis. I go here, there. So, um, I, have to, I have to make some money as well beside the tour. I mean, I don't want to finish my career with zero euro in my account, so obviously I'm, I'm trying to do my best in this too. What are your goals for 2013? Oh, it's a pretty tough question, you know. I'm trying to, as I said, just to be back on track. I'm hoping not to get injured again, or um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to, to win a lot of matches again, and um, um, I have nothing like big goals. Um, just to just to um, you know play play a good game and uh, then then the result will come for sure. Next tournament? I go to Bogota, Florianopolis, Indianapolis, Miami, and Monterrey. So it's a long trip again, but you know it's that's tennis players' life, so I guess it's normal. So good luck. Thank and you. Thank you very much. Thank you.